Bryn Kenny was born on November 1st, 1986 and grew up in Long Beach, New York. He happens to be the eldest of the five children and proved to be quite a responsible young man. He displayed a passion for games at a very early age and his photographic memory aided him when it came to card games. This was unlike many children his age since he also acted and dressed differently. His mother did not oppose his behavior and in fact, she supported him throughout it all. His first game of choice was Magic the Gathering, something he has in common with another well-known poker pro, Jonathan Little. This was a card game that was played by over 12 million people worldwide. It was then that he discovered he had a photographic memory as he could recollect every single baseball card, including the details he had ever encountered before. He used this ability to crush Magic the Gathering tournaments when he was still a teenager. It was by playing Magic the Gathering that Kenny met future poker pros like Jonathan Little, Tony Gregg, Josie Barbero, David Williams, and many more. Bryn Kenny began playing six max sit and goes with his mates in his grandmother's backyard. That used to cost him $20 a piece. After creating an online poker account under his mother's name, he began playing online poker. When he turned 18, he created his account that he has today. He would wake up, immediately go to the computer, play all day and night, eat horrendous food, and then do it all over again the next day. He did that for about a year straight. Bryn got pretty good at poker but it obviously was not a healthy lifestyle. When he was persuaded by his mother to enroll in college, he did so but quit shortly after his enrollment. He said that school was not for him and decided to focus all his attention and energy on playing poker. He made the leap to playing poker full time and thus increased his focus on the online website. It wasn't long before he began playing some of the highest stakes games that led to an increase in his bankroll. Bryn Kenny was a winning player from early on but not enough to sustain himself. Things changed when he met Zach Stewart on a trip to the Bahamas. His fellow online sit and go grinder decided to stake him. That is when Kenny started playing live poker instead of online. He made about $40,000 in a matter of 3 days. That was until he found some cash to play on his own and started real gambling. He claimed his share and began playing 2040 No Limit Hold'em. From then onwards and for the next 40 days there, he didn't lose even once. At the end of the run, Bryn was playing the biggest game in the casino. This was the turning point in Bryn Kenny's career. It was Zach Stewart who not only gave him a chance to earn it all back, but also thrive as a poker player. Bryn realized that his hand didn't really matter. The only thing that matters is your opponent's range and being able to manipulate the action based on that information. After realizing that, things really started to click for Bryn Kenny. Not long enough, he started focusing all his attention to poker and garnered remarkable results. Since he was a regular in the biggest poker tournaments online, he achieved much respect and was branded a high roller. Most people, especially the British, refer to him as a Marmite character since you can either love or hate this 33-year-old poker player. There are no in-betweens with him. To date, Bryn Kenny doesn't care about what people think about him as poker has taken up all his attention. This has slowly built his character and everyone who has encountered him knows not to rob him up the wrong way. While still operating in the online poker, Kenny started playing a little too extravagant where he flashed some of his earnings through expensive purchases. There was this time when he put on a large diamond studded dollar pendant and attended live poker events. He also had lavish sports watches that were rumored to cost around $100,000. Kenny continued to win online and even started dabbling in live tournaments. But no matter how much he won, he couldn't hold on to his cash. He admitted that he was a winning player at all stakes he played but he was not good with money. At one point, he was playing 200-400 Pot Limit Omaha or $500-$1,000 No Limit Hold'em with a cap and turned $50,000 into something like $3.5 million. Within 6 months, it was all gone. He made some pretty terrible decisions when it came to investments or staking other players. When asked whether he dumped any money by gambling, Kenny explained that he isn't drawn to gambling outside of poker. There are a lot of parasites in the poker world who are looking to get a piece once they see you have some success. Unfortunately, Bryn was too nice when he first started playing poker and it took him quite a while to learn how to say no. It torched him completely 
and this was a really valuable lesson to learn. According to Bryn Kenny's Hendon Map profile, the first recorded cache was in May 2007. He was then 21 years old and attained the second position out of 184 entries in the $1,000 buy-in held in the Turing Stone Resort and Casino in Verona. At this event, he ended up earning $34,400. With his frequency in the poker events, Bryn Kenny became a regular figure on the European Poker Tour and in high buy-in events all over the globe. In January 2011, he started with a clean $643,000 score which made his great entrance of the year. This was Bryn's reward for attaining third place in the $100,000 Super High Roller held at the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure. At the final table, he battled against the likes of Daniel Legrano and Nick Shulman. Later that year, he final tabled the Bellagio Cup main event and won a European Poker Tour side event. In 2012, he made another 10 final tables, mostly in Europe, before winning another $230,000 at the 2013 PCA. Then in 2014, Kenny really began to take the poker world by storm. At the World Series of Poker, he took 4th place in the $5,000 6 Max event for $161,000 and then 5th in the $1,500 stud event for $25,000. At this third final event of the series in the $1,500 10-game mix event, Kenny came out on top, winning $153,000 and his first career gold bracelet. Overall, the American Poker Pro has 32 caches at the World Series events for a total of $2.23 million. After his last 2011 six-figure prize, it took him like five years more for him to get his first seven-figure prize. He took the victory in the $100,000 Super High Roller 8-handed event held at the 2016 PokerStars Caribbean Adventure. This victory got Bryn Kenny walking away with $1.68 million. He defeated a stack of 58 entries. This included Joe McKeon, the winner of the World Series of Poker main event. This victory added to his bankroll and was now playing at $8.3 million on live tournament earnings. He also moved up to 54th in the all-time poker money list. Later that year in November of 2016, he was runners-up in a Triton Poker Super High Roller Series event held in the Philippines. This victory got him banking a clean $1.4 million. This was yet another million and above score that he earned in the same year. He continued with his pace, which not long after his winning, he achieved another victory. This was at the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure in 2017, where he won a prize of $1.95 million. Then in 2019, he went on another heater. In March of 2019, Bryn Kenny finished second in the Triton Poker Super High Roller Series in Jeju, South Korea. This time, he didn't earn the usual $1 million plus prize, it was a massive $3 million prize. This tournament attracted a total of 48 entries with 16 re-entries which generated a prize pool of $11.5 million. The one who took first place was Timothy Adams from Canada who cashed in $3.5 million. Later that year, Bryn Kenny made poker history by winning the largest prize in live poker while he took second place in the event. This is the Triton Million Tournament with a biggest buy-in in poker history of about $1.3 million. The Triton Million for charity was an event that happened as a part of the Triton Super High Roller Series held in London that year. This tournament was only for those invited and professionals but also allowed non-professional folks that were willing to stake fat sums of cash. What's more, the not-so-professional poker players were allowed one invite for one professional player to the tournament. Both the professional and amateurs were separated during the first six levels. Shortly after, the fields were combined and the tournament went on as normal. At the final table, there was a stacked field of both amateurs and experts including Dan Smith who took 3rd place, Stephen Chidwick who took 4th, Vivek Rajkumar who took 5th and Bill Perkins who came in 6th. Thanks to a deal in the top 2, Bryn received more than a champion Aaron Zhang, namely $20.5 million. After this win, Bryn doubled the already considerable amount of prize money in his career and immediately topped the list of the most profitable players on the all-time poker money list, overtaking Justin Bonomo, who was extremely successful in 2018, and legendary kid poker Daniel Legrano, who led the rating for several years in a row. With his recent Triton High Roller victory, Kenny finished 2019 with a total win of $30.3 million in live tournament earnings. It always has been Bryn's dream to become top of the all-time money list in poker. 
during an interview that was conducted on him in 2018, Bryn confessed and made his goal clear. He said that it has been his goal for quite some time and he wants to realize it sooner. He also said that he wasn't going to take his foot off the gas until he makes it to the number one all-time winner list. Amazingly, Kenny said that it would take him probably two years or less. The biggest single MTT cash of his online career is $52,360 which he got for beating a 278 player field in a $215 buy-in event. The total cash on his PokerStars account is $434,000. Bryn Kenny is also the ambassador to a lesser known Asian online poker room called GG Poker. It is without a doubt that Bryn Kenny is a professional poker player that is made for greatness. He is known to offer unbiased opinions regardless of whether you like him or not. He has an elite level skill and he keeps going for the ultra high stakes tournaments. This video is powered by Bluff the Spot, the best place to learn how to win at poker from actual high stake coaches like MMA Sherdog. Check the link in the description. And if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.